How old do you think I am? I'm not going to answer that question. Answer I will it. not be put on the Please spot. Answer I will it. not be put on the spot. I've always wanted to find out where the fish comes from. In the beginning. Right here on Kiona TV. <laughs> but he's all known as Leslie Fish. Now he's a soulful singer, R&B, pop music, you name it. I'm not forgetting that he produces his own songs and produces for other artists as well. It's a full package. Leslie Fish. Hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Awesome. I, I've always wanted to find out where the fish comes from. Well, how did first, you get there? First of all, I'm really excited to be here. It's such an amazing, amazing show. I know it's, it's fun. I'm super excited to be here Thank again. Thank you. Fish, essentially my surname is, my actual, actual government surname is Hobe. Yeah? So it's literally just like translation from Hobe to fish. Because I also, I also realized we would like, before I even started doing music or anything, a lot of people would just like translate for themselves and like I'll tell them my name is Leslie Hobe and oh I'm a fish, ah skip on fish, shop, okay. you know? All right. So I just like took it and ran with it and I felt like it's a much more relatable thing for people. So I was just like, okay. Leslie Fish. Also my brother kind of led with it first, so I just followed. You took it up. Yep. All right, great stuff. Yeah. So maybe if I'm, if I'm a no, right, your background, how does it look like? What did you grow up before <coughs> your initial interest in music? Uh, it's a very simple background. I grew up in Bluewayo, born and bred. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, been, I've lived in um, Cowdery Park, I've lived in Famona, I've lived in Pumula Old, and I live in Mahachula. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a mix between Ekasi and the birds, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. So that's 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 what I kind of pride myself in, because I can relate with like a wide range of cultures and people. Right. But yeah, that's. That's, that's me, essentially. In so, of, where did you find your fort? Because I'm looking at, you know, at the other side of Sicil and, you know, the Gassi, you know. So, I'm pretty sure that guy was not talking to people in the hood. I used to talk to people. It's not like I was quiet and like always, like, shut up. But for the most part, it came from, I guess, my brother, because he was he used to play a lot of music. All right. In the house. The, I, I got bit by the music bug. Right, and yeah, you had to go for pop music. I had to go for pop music. My favorite artist is Michael Jackson. Okay. Best artist of all time. Can you dance like him? Yes, yeah, I, I think I still can. You? Okay. I think I still can. But unfortunately for the camera, it's set up. Yeah, but also if yeah. I stand down, <laughs> I'll send you anything. Nice try. Yeah, it's well, okay. We'll catch him on the next time. No, I'll send the video and then you insert it in the show. <laughs> Perfect. But um, yeah, my favorite uh, artist is Michael Jackson. And so that kind of influenced that uh, shift. Also, um, I grew up singing a cappella. Yeah, well, so that kind of was kind of what led me to doing pop music. And also, it's a cool genre. Like, yeah. Like, look at all the pop musicians out there, like, <laughs> fire. You know? So, you think you're fire as well? I'm trying to be. I'm, mm. try, I'm trying to follow in their footsteps. But yeah. also, kind of forging my own way, you know. It's not really cool to just like imitate other people out there. It's kind yeah. of very important to build your own persona and find your own way. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. So you've got quite a number of songs that are out, right? Yes, I do. The first, uh, my experience of Leslie Fish was Still Believe in Love. Oh, yeah. Right. So, yeah. so tell me about that song. I'll answer it from two angles, sonically and in terms of the storyline. Sonically, okay. I was just trying to find my sound, like I said. Mm. Um, so it, Still Believe in Love was kind of one of my first few pop songs. And I produced it myself. I'm a producer. So I was kind of playing around with that, that sound mm -hmm. and I just made this instrumental and I was so happy I made it. I turned it into a song. So that's kind of what led to me doing and putting out to still believe in love. Now with the storyline, mm. it's actually based on my own personal journey in this okay. relationship, romantic relationship. And dude, I was, but you're so young, dude, come on. Like, no, I'm not. Why shall I, how, dude, how, like? how old? No, tell me. <laughs> I, get this, I get this question a lot, but I'll ask you, how old do you think I am? I'm not going to answer that question. Please answer I will it. not be put on the Please spot. Answer I will it. not be put on if, the spot. Listen, if you, if you tell me you're so young, dude, <laughs> yeah. then you have to be able to back it up. Wow, you, you're so young. Okay, primarily, I'm going to think that maybe you're around the 22s over there, right? So, okay. All right, it's okay, guys. I'm turning, I'm turning 27 this year. Are you kidding yeah, me? No, it's not. Nah. But you're still <laughs> so young anyway I'm for that young, song. But, like, I mean, I put that song out, what, two, three years ago. I was 27. Yeah. That's the okay. age to be in a relationship in my line. According to your parents. According, according to, to you. According to me. <laughs> according to me. <laughs> According to me. It's okay. So now that was coming from a personal space. That was so, from a personal what was space. happening? What was I'm happening? And what's the name? 
I'm not going to get into the details, but her name is Angela. But I'm not going to get into the details, like I said. Um, I'm saying her name also, I spite her. But I'm not going to get into the details. Okay. But essentially, it was obviously a relationship, a tumultuous relationship. And sure. essentially, it ended. Mm. And me, me, that song is actually the third song in a series of four songs that I put out. Okay. And essentially, I'm saying I still believe in love. All right. So, yeah. So, have you found love after Angela? I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> yes. Maybe in the last segment, he's going to answer that question. Let's take a break. <laughs> Right, welcome back. It's the third and final segment of Umtolo Labatuli. We're sitting down with Leslie Fish, trying to find out who he is, where he's coming from, and where he is going. So before we went to the break, he was just sharing with us around the song Still Believe in Love, and he said that he still believes in, he believes in love, and there's somebody, he won't tell us who it is. Correct? Maybe, maybe not. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to let it go, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Leslie, is it Leslie or Leslie? Uh, personal preference, whatever you're comfortable with, but I prefer Leslie. Leslie, yeah. so not like Leslie, no, so it's, it's still Leslie. Fine. M most of my family calls me Leslie, so it's fine. Ah, okay, great. It's wrong, <laughs> but it's fine. So Leslie, all right, so Leslie. Uh -huh. All right, so now, what's the vision, what's the plan? Vision 2030, my version. <laughs> um, I think the vision, you know what, I, I really, I'm sure you've noticed, I haven't really been the most active person out there. I've been dealing with, you know, life things like work, school, stuff like that. Mm. But now I'm done, kind of. So the work starts and I'm still like kind of uh, settling down and like kind of re-strategizing. So definitely more music, more videos and more collaborations. You know, I really want to collaborate with a lot more local artists. So like. I feel like it's very important. My, the number one, actually there's two people mm. within my scope. I want you, I'm kind of talking to them already, so they're in the bag. But ASAF, I really want to collaborate with him. All right. So bad, because he's super talented. And you know, he's actually doing things. Actually, there's three people. And he's actually doing things. Number two is MCSK. I really want to collaborate with him, because I just like his sound and like how he commands people with his with his craft yeah. and then the third person is she's no longer here unfortunately but it's a artist called Ye, uh, now she's called kanya kanya yeah okay. if you know her formerly called yezi oh, she's now in the uk right. okay um but we're still linking i still talk to her kind of so i really hope to make music with these three people this is at the top of my list but the list is long so Lost. okay yeah. so let's go nationally just two um, people nationally then we Go internationally. Uh, and then we go international in terms of collab collabs. Yeah. Um, I want to work with a person called Aishan. Okay. Um, I want to work with Chiama. And she follows me already on TikTok, so I'm excited about that. Hopefully, it will start off uh, something cool. All right. And yeah, like I didn't really have that many people nationally, but there's a lot of people at Riviera. All right, let's go yeah. internationally. Internationally, you know, like... When yeah, you, when, let's when speak you, it into peace. You see, when you're a local artist, you don't really think that far. Hi, but bo. I'll start now, right here on Kiona TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think the person I would have wanted to collaborate with uh, was AKA, God oh, okay. Rest His Soul. Mm -hmm. um, now probably MT in South Africa. And like in terms of the global stage, Ruth B. Okay. If people know her. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, maybe one, maybe Charlie Puth or Justin Bieber. Sure. Definitely. You know, you can tell a lot about Definitely. his sound, his interests, yeah. based on the people that he's based selecting. The, the names, yeah. All right, so are we seeing uh, international stages in the plan? I'm still trying to get onto local stages, man. I haven't really been mm. performing as much, so local stages for now. International, definitely mm -hmm. medium term. All right, so what's the reaction when Leslie Fish is performing in songs? People cry, Ooh. people faint, the ambulance is everywhere. Are you I'm just saying, come <laughs> to the shows, guys. You'll see for yourself if you think I'm lying. Are you serious? Yeah. So what's the part that makes them faint? <laughs> it's everything. The minute I get on there, yeah. it's just like me standing there. No, All I'm right. Lying. I'm lying. Um, <laughs> I think the reaction that people give is just them reacting to the music. I'm a big believer in the spirituality in music. Okay. Like, I really believe music is able to link human beings in the physical world 
to the spiritual world. Okay. And that's kind of what I use my music for. Saying you have a All right, no, it's okay. I totally don't, understand. In other words, don't offend me, is what I'm saying. <laughs> No, I'm joking. All right. No, it's so good. I, I understand that because that speaks of you taking music, not just as a method of just, yeah, you know, yeah. making money, just mm-hmm. finding something to do. But for mm-hmm. you, a lot goes into it before you release something. And can I tell you something? Money is actually the last thing. I'm not saying I'm not prioritizing money or like mm. for free or whatever. But money is the last thing, man. Like, for me, I already have a job. So mm. music is kind of like the parallel thing that I do. What, what was your job? A freelancer. I, I write songs for people, I produce songs for people, I mix and master, I record stuff for people. Ah. Mostly like out of the country because it's online. Okay. You know with Zim, online things, that's how we... Alright, but so there is drives. money somewhere, somehow? Yes. That you make it from and there? the freelance yeah. business? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Now there is, I mean, the internet So let's the fish ulemal. To all the girls out there. You heard it I was not saying to who. <laughs> she said to the girls, but to less official I'm it. No, like the internet is big, man. So there's a lot of opportunity out there. So yeah, yeah never mind if you really do it properly. Okay, yeah. great stuff. All right, so we're about to run to a close, uh, right, of our conversation. But maybe just going just to, to your choices, right? Choices. Yeah, choices. What would you choose? Okay. Right. So, who is the most uh, most prioritize like the person that you prioritize the most in your life, right? Is it your mom? Between your mom? Is it your bae? Or your friend? My bae? I'm joking, my mom. Mm. <laughs> Definitely my mom. It okay, the mom. hierarchy. The hierarchy. Mm. Mom, you said it in the hierarchy that I actually would have put it. It's my mom, my bae. No, no, I'm lying. Yeah, my mom, my bae, my friend. All right, and who's your friend? Uh, nobody would know him. But it's a guy called Gabriel, actually. Am I allowed to, like, yeah, mention please other, do. like, please shows do. even? Um, shows, not. So, sure, no. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Gabriel, is, yes. Yeah, Gabriel. <laughs> he's, actually, he's actually got the lead role on a play that's happening at Bluea Theatre this All right. weekend. Nice. So, yeah, that's kind of my best friend. And Stones Moyo. He really actually got me into the music, like arts or craft, rather. Mm-hmm. He got me producing, got me learning a lot more about music. So, right. Yeah, those are the ones that come to mind right now. All right. So, Gabriel, you are the friend, but you're number three. Like, yeah. Yeah, because I know you won't go anywhere. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, that's good. Okay, last question before the last one. <laughs> okay. What is one question that you get tired of being asked? I think the one question is because my family is vegetarian, mm. so they ask, Uti, Ali Linyama, and I'm like, oh. So you don't eat meat either? I like to consider myself a, a flexitarian. <laughs> um, as the name suggests, I am. <laughs> I am right. No, yeah, for the most part, I'm, I'm vegetarian, yeah. Yeah, okay, is it faith based? It's mostly, yeah, faith, faith based and also. Like, SDA? Yes. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I and knew also it. Also health based. Alright, okay. because the moment you said acapella, I was like, mm, oh, yeah. It must yeah, be SDA. Yeah. So you wouldn't perform on a Saturday? I would. I definitely mm. would. Depends where. But that's but working. No, it's not. It's, it's ministering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <It's ministering. laughs> okay. All right. So right, let's close it off here. Also depends on the message uh, of the song, yeah, bro. The message so, of the song. Yeah, I can't go out there and sing about about girls and money on a Sabbath day. Yeah, on bro. a Sabbath day. Like if it's so, different. so let's say you are given a platform to perform, right? Mm-hmm. And and Lester Fish just to show up, you I know. I definitely will show up. Yeah, and you will not sing those songs. I will not sing those songs. Which songs would you say? The ones that you're I opening for. Sing. Maybe let's say you're opening up for Justin Bieber. The good part about my music is it has nothing to do with like the materialistic girls or anything like yeah. that. It's just like re- mostly family, personal religion, and what what. And I'm a pretty spiritual person, so I feel like if I if I if I'm singing my song and I'm performing to people, they kind of get the spiritual message as well. Yeah. You know? All right. But at the same time. Uh, and this is, a, this is a conversation I have with a lot of people. Like, you can't divorce every other thing that happens in your life from mm-hmm. religion. Things like love, things like, like being depressed, things mm. like, stuff like that. Like, you, like, like my mom, for example, especially when I started making music, she really only wanted me to make gospel music. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, but like, I'm, You're going, defined, child. I'm, I'm going through all... No, I'm not defiant. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going through all these other things that I want to talk about and express, and you're limiting me to 
Genesis 1 verse 1. Yeah, well. Hallelujah. What's wrong with Genesis 1? Wrong with in, the one. One. in the beginning. In the beginning. All right, you're going to close it off here. <laughs> but for people that want to follow you, where do they follow you? Leslie Fish on Instagram. Okay. And Leslie Fish Media on Facebook and TikTok. All right, yeah. great. You know what? This guy is here and he's not going anywhere. If you follow him on all the social media platforms, you'll find out his links, uh, links to his music. And now it was as well. We're talking about Lester Fish in the building and in the music industry. So for the ladies, Ule Mali and his spiritual. If you get disappointed, don't blame me. Hey, so that's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you so much, Lazy Fish. Thank you so much for having me. All right. See you on the next one. This is on Kuro Nabak on Gayona TV.